I think that what it is about what I do that makes me happy is um, kind of this perverse um, being uncomfortable and being okay with being uncomfortable in situations where I am either through my research questions or the kinds of conversations that I have with my colleagues, I'm questioning some of the assumptions. Looking at how people actually learn and transform in their understandings of the world is often through disruption by having the dominant ways they approach the world question. Instead of trying to make people feel good, you're actually asking them to go outside of their comfort zone. Because some people are facing discomfort all the time because of their positionality. So you don't want to reinforce those that are already marginalized in different ways. At the same time, you want to push people who may be in positions of privilege to reconsider the ways they think about the world. So using ideas from HCI and design to support people as they learn to think differently about the world that they live in. We all have privilege in different ways based on age, gender, nationality, uh, different physical abilities, and in different contexts those privileges come to light. And by being aware of those privileges and thinking about them in our research, I think we can bring a lot more humility and courage to the kind of HCI design research we support.